My name is Louis Demirand. I want to tell you a little bit who I am from a research perspective, mainly. I did my PhD in philosophy in 2017. And before that, I was an independent author of novels, essays. I was a publisher. I helped other people write books. And I was a researcher myself, writing philosophical explorations. In um, 2018, I moved to Sweden after my PhD. I started the philosophical parlor, a place in which I offered philosophical counseling via individual dialogue, but also for groups. The result of this was quite encouraging. I had a training in psychoanalysis, but philosophical counseling is rather different. We're not there to look for a diagnosis or to label people, but really to have a deep listening process of meaning making, sense making with the person. At the same time, I continued my research um, after my PhD as a postdoc at Örebro University in Sweden. And I was working on the philosophy of AI. I collaborated with several computer scientists along the concept that I Proposed, which is the idea of anthrobotics, the fact that we, our processes, our ways of being, our ways of living are intertwined now with digital processes. In 2019, there was an important book by Stuart Russell called Human Compatible. In that book, Stuart Russell, who is a famous uh, pope of AI, said, well, in fact, the problem and therefore, perhaps the solution of AI is human. It's the fact that we as humans, we're not very good at defining our purposes. And therefore, how can we expect that we are good at telling machines what to do in a way that is sustainable in future generations? So the message was, well, we need to work on our sense of purpose, which was exactly the message I was applying in my philosophical health work. In 2020, I published an article, among many others, articulating the idea of a creolectic intelligence in uh, complement to analytic intelligence and dialectic intelligence. So what is creolectic intelligence? It is an intelligence that doesn't only divide the world into known and familiar parts. It is an intelligence that not only sees the world as a play of tensions and opposite forces, it is an intelligence that also tries to stay by the sublime, the aesthetic feeling of a flourishing existence while being in the world at work. So it is a, an attempt to not only feel the creative flows that are part of life and nature, but also be responsible in what we actualize and what we allow to be actualized in the world. I moved on then to Uppsala University, still in Sweden, for a postdoc at the Center for Medical Humanities, where I was able to contribute to uh, strengthen the theoretical ground for philosophical health and philosophical counseling. Among other things, I conducted a pilot study in, uh, with a population uh, living in a wheelchair with spinal cord injury about their philosophy of life. I developed a new method of interviewing, to which I will come back in just a few seconds. So really, my interest now and in the future is to look at what are the conditions for philosophically healthy systems and protocols and lives. Anthrobotic, of course, because we are living among digital machines, and yet healthy. Second part and complementary is the creolectic process and developing a creolectic method, which I will come back to also in just a few seconds. What is common between philosophical health and creolectics is the core notion of possibility, the sense of the possible. It's really about expanding the domain of the possible 
for beings, not just humans. So what are the two methods? The first one I called small pH, sense-making interviews looking at elements of philosophical health, hence the acronym SMILE. The dialogue moves around six steps, which are there to facilitate in people who do not have a specific philosophical training, the co-creation and the awareness raising of elements of deep understanding. We start with the bodily sense. How do you sense your body? How do you perceive your body? We move then to the sense of self. What can you say about yourself? How do you perceive yourself? We then have the sense of belonging, then the sense of the possible, which for me is really core, right? This is how I define health, actually. Health is a state of high, good sense of the possible, which I call also yodynamia from the Greek dynamia, dynamis, possibility, potential, and your good, good potential, good relationship with the possible. We then move to the sense of purpose, which is a very important question for many young people today. What is my sense of purpose? How do I define it? And then to the philosophical sense, which is more than the sense of purpose, because it's not only what's your highest value, what's your constellation of virtues or how do you want to make the world a better place it is also about how do you view the world what's your worldview big explanation this is a process right uh, even the most historically famous philosophers are constantly trying to refine and define their philosophical sense the creolectic method has five steps resetting creeling profusing compossibilizing and realizing in short, resetting is a moment where we do tabula rasa, which means the blank slate. We try to get rid of the assumptions and presuppositions and biases that we uh, would bring if we answered automatically to a solution or a challenge or an intimation to innovate. Creeling means connecting with the sense of the possible, not only intellectually, but also physically and feeling the infinite possibility that is at the core of being. Profusing then is letting, after the two first moments, letting the ideas pour out without censorship. Compossibilizing is a term, compossibility, that I take from the admirable philosopher Leibniz, who points out that to make a world, you need events, situations, objects, protocols, that are not only possible, that are possible together, compossible, compatible. So compossibilizing is looking in all these ideas that poured out out of you, those that are compatible together, and try to find the ensemble where you have the most compossible new ideas. Ultimately, realizing is to take a step towards the actualization of your project so a step something that is embedded in the world of course there is the double meaning of the sense of realizing right we understand but also we make real my project now and i'm doing that in collaboration with vattenfall r d is to start a creolactic lab my dream is to continue this creolactic initiative for philosophical health an existential regeneration into a form that is both research and practical, embedded to help not only persons, but also groups and society at large. This year, there's a book coming out, an anthology that I put together with amazing authors from all over the world on different ways and perspectives on philosophical health. Thank you and get in touch.